Welcome to Advanced Geometry with Mrs. Rewrite. Today's lesson is um, 1.1, use points, lines, and planes. All right, so give two other names for line PQ and for plane R. So this actually should look like this. It's just hard to see those arrows. So this is line PQ. How else could I name line PQ? So line PQ is right here. Does anyone have an idea of another way to name line PQ? Yes. Line N. So you can call it line N because this little italicized N is another way of naming it. There is one more way to name this line. And what do you guys think? So instead of line PQ, we can line, name it line QP, right? Line QP is the same thing as line PQ. Plane R. So a line um, goes infinitely in both directions, right? It's straight. It's 180 degrees. It goes on forever in both directions. A plane. What is a plane? Does anyone know what a plane is? A plane consists of three non-collinear points. So you could have a line and then a point not on the line. And why that is, is because if we have a line, like this pen, a point not on the line would define the plane. Because if the point's over here, then that plane's going this way. If the point's over here, that plane's more horizontal, right? So it depends on where that third point is to determine where that plane is. So think about the plane as like a piece of paper cutting through that line at whichever angle. Does that make sense? A plane is like the floor of this classroom going on forever in all directions. So if it went left, right, front and back, forever, that is a plane. If that back wall was a plane, it goes up and down forever, left and right forever, you can never cross through that if that was like a wall. That was a plane, okay? So, plane R. What is the name for plane R? So we could either call it plane R because that R, if the tau size R in the corner says, hey, I'm plane R. The other way is to pick three non-collinear points. So we could call this plane S, P, V, or plane P, T, V, right? Basically, we have to have three points not all on the same line. So you can pick two of these three points and V. Does that make sense? So S, P, V, or P, T, V, or S, T, V. Those are the three options. Name three points that are collinear. So what is the vocab word collinear? Co, same, linear, line. Right? So you guys should be taking notes on this. Collinear. Co, same, linear, line. Same line. So it's three points on the same line. Do you guys see anywhere in here that there's three points all on the same line? Yes. S, P, and T is the only answer. You can say that in any order. Name four points that are coplanar. Co, same, planar, plane, same plane. So are there four points that are all on the same plane? How about S, P, T, and V? Those four are all on plane R. We could also argue that S, P, T, and Q are also all on the same plane because you have a line and a point not on that line, so that is definitely on a plane. However, they like to go with the most obvious answers. So plane R is already drawn, so they're looking for S, P, T, V. Technically, you would be correct with S, P, T, Q, but the people who write the EOC are not always really great at knowing all the possible answers. They go for the most obvious answer. So on an on EOC, they might mark you wrong, even though you are right. So we always go with the most obvious correct answer, which would be SPTV. Okay, just because you guys are smarter than the people who write the test, you need to realize that you want to get the, the answers marked correctly. So you always go with the most obvious correct answer. Use the diagram in example one. Give two other names for line ST. So once again, it's hard to see, but these actually do have little arrows so that you know it's a line, line ST. Two other names for line ST. All right, so who can tell me a, a name for line ST? Yes, line M. Good, what else? Yes, line TS, 
You could even get um, a little bit creative and say line SP or line PS or line PT or TP or TS, ST, P, like any combination of these three you can do. Does that make sense? Name a point that is not coplanar, not on the same plane with Q, S, and T. Not on the same plane as Q, S, and T. So this plane would be kind of like that vertical plane I was talking about before, right? So what is not on that same plane? Name a point not on that same plane. V is the only point not on that same plane because P is definitely on that same plane because it's on the same line as S and T. So V is the only answer. Give another name for segment. Okay, so this one's a segment. It doesn't have the arrows. So that means that it has an end point at the G and an end point at the H. Another name for segment GH. GH. So it goes from this point to this point. How, how else can I name segment GH? Segment HG. And that's the only other name for it because we're talking about this specific portion of a line. It's that exact distance of that segment. So a line goes on forever, but a segment is a portion of that line. Name all rays with endpoint J. All rays with endpoint J. So a ray has an endpoint and it goes on forever in one direction. So it's a portion of a line that only continues in one direction. So it has an endpoint of J. So here's J. This is an endpoint. So what are the rays that I could have with, with an endpoint of J? Yes. Ray J E. So Ray, and it always, you're always going to write it like this. Ray J E. Ray J G. And it always starts with the end point and then has your arrow. Ray J F. And ray j h which of these rays are opposite rays so opposite rays share a common endpoint and they go in opposite directions forming a straight line forming a 180 degree angle so j e is opposite of who j f these two are opposites and JH is opposite of JG. Those are opposite rays. Give another name for segment EF. Segment EF. Yes. Segment FE, perfect. So segment EF and segment FE are the same segment. So that is one other way, or the only other way, of naming that segment. Are segment HJ and segment JH the same ray? Okay, these are not segments. You can barely see them, but there's arrows. Um, it didn't transfer over from my other computer properly. So, is, is ray HJ and ray JH the same ray? No. Look why. So, segment HJ. This has an endpoint here and it goes on forever in this direction. Segment JH has the endpoint here and it's going on forever in this direction. Do you guys see how they're not the same? This one stops, starts here and goes that way. This one starts here and goes this way. They are not the same because they don't start with the same endpoint and they go in different directions. Are ray HJ and ray HG the same ray? Well, let's check those out. So ray HJ, HJ, and ray HG. Yes, because they both have the endpoint of H and they're both going along the same um, trajectory, right? They're going along the same line. Sketch a plane and a line that is in the plane. Okay, so if we're sketching a plane, I'm just going to draw kind of like a parallelogram, right? 
and a line that is in the plane. So I'm just going to draw a line right on, on that plane. So that's like having a piece of paper and having the pen as a line on the paper, right? Sketch a plane and a line that does not intersect the plane. So once again, I'm going to draw a plane. And this time, I'm going to draw my line above the plane, so like it's parallel to the plane. That's not on the plane, right? They'll never intersect. This one's going on forever this way, and this is like the floor. So it's kind of like the pen or the line being on the ceiling of this classroom and the plane being the floor of this classroom. They're never going to intersect. Sketch a plane and a line that intersects the plane at a point. So we're having it intersect at one point. So I'm just going to have kind of like a pen stabbing through a piece of paper. So there's two ways to draw it. You can either draw it like this, or you can add in dotted lines to show that it's behind there. So you can either put a dotted line between, or you could just leave it blank between. But you see that there's a line, it's entering the piece of paper, and it's coming out the other end. So this is when I literally take a piece of paper, and I have my pencil stab through the paper. It's intersecting, the line is intersecting the plane at one point, okay? You are expected to draw these on your plane, like to like given um, situations, you're going to have to draw them based on what they tell you. All right, so sketch two planes that intersect in a line. So if you have two planes, two planes will always intersect in a line, right? When they intersect, they're going to intersect at a line. No matter where they intersect, it will always be a line. Two planes intersect in a line. Sketch two different lines that intersect a plane at the same point. Two different lines that intersect a plane at the same point. Two lines intersecting a plane at the same point. So here's one line. And then I'm just going to have another line intersecting at the same point. So that's two pencils stabbing through the same piece of paper at the same point. Two different lines that intersect a plane at the same point. Name the intersection of line PQ and line K. Line PQ is intersecting line K where? Where is line PQ intersecting line K? Point M. They both have a point M. Do you guys see how these two lines are intersecting at point M? And that was our entire lesson for today. Our lesson, once again, was on 1.1, use points, lines, and planes. Please subscribe to our channel um, for more geometry lessons just like this one. Thank you so much and have a great day.